Welcome to day 2485 of our Let's Grow Annual Not a Let's Grow Annual Challenge. What you up to now? Sharon Horn Elstrom here, forgetting what I'm talking about. So I'm holding up this big stack of journals and books, which is our daily topic for No Nonsense November. Tip and tool number 17 today. I'm obviously an avid believer in this particular uh, lesson learned and strategy for several reasons. I shared the business reason in Super Size Your Business when I was talking about this as our No Nonsense November lesson learned or tip and then a tool that you can use to do it i'm obviously old school old-fashioned write it down in a notebook all different types of notebooks i literally have tubs of these i don't even know where to put these on my lap uh <clears throat> that i keep for different topics different areas if i'm learning a new skill i'll start a whole journal for it and i'll keep track of my journey and i'll journal it of learning that new skill or that new strategy uh when i do anything i think i've been pretty open about if our life is worth living it's worth recording and keeping notes on it's why i take so many pictures with my cellular device my phone because i want to document the cool things that happen in our life one of my favorite joys every day is when facebook or uh, google photos or somebody sends me a reminder and an update of some of the past times and experiences of my life in photos it's it's an amazing feeling to get the reminders of those some things not so much, but normally I didn't take pictures of those things, right? The, the bad things we don't usually capture in photos. But I also like to journal because in addition to being a way of capturing experiences, et cetera, I can capture how I feel about it and the, my thought process. And I can go back and I can do some postmortem and, and reflection on experiences and on situations. And I can look for well, what are the lessons I learned from that? what worked out really well, what didn't work, and then uh, I can start to see patterns. I don't know about you, but most of us do not have the ability to see patterns in our own behavior without taking time, reflecting, and actually looking for them. So it's an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, I used it as a, a competitive advantage in my career in corporate America. I used it to this day as a competitive advantage serving the people that I'm here to serve. And I use it as a competitive advantage in my own life to help me to grow and become the best possible version of myself. Do I always succeed? No. Some days are good days. Some days are bad days. That's called the human condition. But I do think that it's a, a tremendous tool that I've benefited greatly from. I <coughs> actually have journals and I have several of these for our Super Size Your Business group. These are small journals I created when I was first losing my vision and it was a, a project for me and I was going to get rid of them and I'm like, I didn't. So I'm like, well, I might as well use them. So I use them for my daily content for Supersize Your Business. Our annual challenge. This is a very well-worn <laughs> annual challenge book this year, but I try to do the entire annual challenge along with my homework for the annual challenge in a physical journal in a, as my homework in addition to what I share online in Facebook group. I, I'm doing that in a Facebook group. It's free, so I'm doing it in a, a free platform. And last year we added, I think in February, we added a chat GPT written uh, supplement for that particular thing. And then this year I've added that plus a story, somebody's story to illustrate the point that we're talking about. So today it's Inez's story about journaling and daily journaling and how that impacted her life. So you can go and read that on the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page guide two. They're all in guide two. Uh, so much going on. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Bye. Another slope.